mercy to mankind. Umar ibn al-Khattab Abu Hafs, Amir al-Mu'mineen. So he walks to his house, knocks on Umar's door, radiyallahu anhu. Now bearing in mind, Umar's door was not one of those high-tech security doors. Was it, Ya Walid? It was a curtain. And who can live today in our environment, with our society, with basically just a curtain between him and the outside world. We are talking about the leader of millions, the shepherd of millions. He had no high-tech security guards, gates, doors, fortifications, no bodyguards, national guards, security guards, no special services around him. No huge bull mastiff ready to devour you if he sees you anywhere in his house. No. What did he have you, Ahmed? A basic curtain. Between the shepherd and his millions of flock. So he knocks on the door. And that actually reminds me of the saying of the, that Roman. You know, a Roman went to Medina one day seeking Amir al Mu'minin. So he asked, Where is his whereabouts? They said, Amir al-Mu'minin is underneath the tree over there. Over that tree over there, he's, he's just resting, sleeping. You know, he thought to himself, now I want Umar Amir al-Mu'minin. How can a leader of such caliber be resting underneath a tree? It didn't make any sense to him. He goes, yes, he's over there. This Roman goes there and just from a distance sees this man. Simple, basic clothes. No silk, no gold, no precious jewelry on him. Just a shabby looking individual. Radiallahu an. Basic, simple clothes. Lying down underneath the branches of that tree. Peacefully sleeping. And the Roman looked at that and he was marveled by it. The leader of millions. No weapons, no fortress, no guards, no nothing. And then he remarks his famous words, as you all know. Ya Umar! Wallahi, this is etched in history. Ya Umar! Hakamt, fa'adalt, fa'amint, fa'nimt. What a beautiful saying. Oh, Umar! He looked at him. You ruled millions of people. You were just in ruling them. And being that, you were safe. You were safe and protected from anyone wanting them to harm you. And then you slept comfortably and peacefully. This is Amir al Mu'minin, the man who would cause the devil to run away from him, the pagans to break, buckle, and shake. No one hears his name, but he starts, you know, he's like stiff. This is the dunya. There's nothing in this dunya. There really isn't. What are you chasing? The catwalk model? What are you chasing? The catwalk model is your acts of worship. That's your model that you should be chasing. When Umar ibn Khattab walked past a dump yard one day with his companions, a dump yard, he just stopped suddenly. And as though his companions were a bit sort of taken back, you know, what are you doing? The smell, the, the disgust, the stench and so forth and so on. He looked at the dump here, the garbage, the trash, and looked at his companions and said, See, this garbage that you can't even stand being next to? This is your dunya! I'm not saying this. This is the dunya that you are so eager for and you weep over. This is what you're chasing. You're chasing this gibberish, this junk, this garbage. People kill for this garbage. They slander for it. They hate for it. They envy for it. They hate one another for it. For what? For garbage? Really? Is that how low we have become? There's nothing in this dunya. But this stench, this putrid that exists therein, 
Realize. Realize and acknowledge this.